I'm Kerry Berglund. Rock and roll, it's a man's world. No, it's not. Okay, maybe not today, and definitely not here at the Musicians Institute, where the women have taken over. Yes. yes. A live report coming up. I'm Kerry Berglund at the Musicians Institute, where the women of rock and roll have taken over to celebrate their talent, their dedication, and their commitment. A live and report woo! coming up. Just A successful female rock band in an industry dominated by men, but it was all about women who rock today on the Hollywood campus of the Musicians Institute. An impressive collection of musicians and female music executives gathered to honor women in the field and to motivate and inform others on how to launch their careers. Rocking with these women. Oh, yes, he was out there today, our own Carrie Burkman. Hey, Carrie. Right you are, and you know, any given day around the Musicians Institute is packed with guys, but today it was a completely different story inside where it was all about the women of rock and roll. My personal revolution. Okay, let's face it, women are still second-class citizens in the world of rock and roll. It's just an automatic Monday. Yes, of course, there are plenty of rockers who are women, but they are not the dominant force or the first names you think of when somebody says rock and roll. I've always felt like girls just weren't invited to be a part of the music community. So every time I would go into a music store to buy gear, I was never really treated like a musician. I was always treated kind of like a groupie. But this day-long event at the Musicians Institute called Women Overthrow the Musicians Institute, not exactly Women Occupy MI, but close, they say, is not to upset or change the balance of power, although you'd get no argument from the women here, but to celebrate the women who rock our world from every aspect and every angle. Uh -huh. For instance, you can't have rock without guitars, now can you? And Tish Cerevolo saw a need and founded Daisy Rock Guitars that designs and builds guitars for women right here in the valley. And we started thinking, well, let's start trying to fix some of these problems that I've dealt with. So it really came about, like, let's just make it lighter in weight, and then let's make the neck smaller so it's easier to play. But there's, you know, a guitar is a guitar is a guitar, so it still has to be a really great guitar. We're just going to kind of change it around a little bit. And you can't have rock tours without management. Cue Amy Blackman, one of the women of rock and roll who keeps bands on stage. But she says her sex is all too rare in her end of the business. Can you get on that? Okay. <laughs> well, that's why I'm here, you know, because like I think it is very um, suited to what women do best, which is make people talk to each other and communication and organization and strategy and big picture. And it comes very naturally to me. And I would love to see more women involved in this. And of course, we're saving the most obvious for last, the rockers who not only have to follow their dream, but elbow their way into the rock scene, so crowded by men. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're, we're making ourselves known. Some, some women are just instrumental guitarists and they're amazing, and some are, there's a lot more uh, co-ed bands. I think it's much more common now to see women musicians in general. <laughs> The headliners of today's event were, as you can tell, the Bengals, who also have a brand new CD, How yes, Sweetheart of the do. Sun. And you Sweetheart told me earlier the today that the business has almost come full circle. It has in a certain way. We started out very do-it-yourself, you know, making our own records, packaging them ourselves, putting up our own flyers. And now that's how you market your own band now. You go on the Internet, you go on Facebook, you, you know, you market your own band. And that was your message to the kids thing. today. Good Absolutely. luck to you. Keep right? it real. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, but it was Follow inspirational. Follow your in instincts, yeah. your passion for music. That's Believe what drives yourself, you. you know? That's what oh, musicians that's have to do. We, we are live to. downtown in Hollywood tonight. I'm Kerry Bergman, NBC4 News. Thanks, you guys. Thank Thank you. Back yeah, to you yeah. in the studio. Cool. Cool. All right, thanks very much, Kerry. Coming up as we continue here, we'll have more on that accident that occurred down in Santa Ana. Five people were hit by a car, including three children. We'll be right back.